Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial in Fusion 360. Here we'll continue working on the V12 engine. Here I I will create a new version from the the first one and the goal here is to create to create um, the, the 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 left the left cylinder head of this V12 engine here i will put the name of the cylinder head I was starting to do a new component that's the right one because I want to move the cylinder head right as component and I will make it like a sub assembly okay as you can see here we have a cylinder head the basic of the cylinder head and as you can see we have all the the component inside this component i don't want that i just want to move all the the component and the cylinder this cylinder head to um, i will mean move it as you can see here inside the cylinder head right assembly to the assembly okay as you can see here you have just to go to the cylinder head right and copy it okay but before that, I want to move all the, um, the these components, as you can see here, it depends on the first cylinder head. I, I want to move it to this assembly. I want to make it independent, okay, from the the cylinder head right, okay. As you can see here, we have the whole assembly of the cylinder head and these components with the seat ring and the valve guide, etc. Now, I will activate this to create another assembly for the left one As you can see here, when you create the second assembly for the left one, what you have to do is just to copy this one, but don't use copy as normal. You have to use the copy. Um, no, you have to use copy, but paste, you have to use paste new. Paste new that you will create new um, component independent from the first one because when you when you make it just past the problem is uh, that you will uh, when you modify the second one you have modification on the first one as you can see here we have the move copy window just move it 
like this one and rotate it and you can click OK to validate now you have the cylinder head right inside the left just click and rename this one to the left as you can see here we have all the component games with this one okay here i will hide all of uh, the assembly and the right and the right uh, cylinder head and let's working on the cylinder head la uh, left you have to activate it and enter off the the component you have to activate the cylinder head left as you can see here we have all the, the component here all of these you can you can leave it like this or if you want to to remove it remove it it's not a problem here let's modify one by one go to this sketch and modify this this dimension this one it will be 67 click to finish your sketch don't worry about a warning or something like that edit this one go to edit sketch click on home to see what's going on there and modify this this uh, dimension this same thing put 67 you have just to edit uh, this feature and verify if all thing is all right here object selected direction maybe i will change the direction here i will choose this one spacing all thing is all right just click ok as you can see here the error is gone to avoid here the the loading um, of the feature i will add the <coughs> the marker here and the second the the sketch to to edit here is this one as you can see we are we have uh, 45 from the center here as you can see the center is gone what you have to do for me i will change the dimension from here to here as you can see you have to see here 45 
just validate your work as you can see it's not loading all the feature here just leave it uh, one by one it's the best uh, I will recommend you this let's activate feature here mirror have sketch Let's edit this uh, sketch. As you can see here, from here we have 42, put it 22. Finish your sketch. As you can see, all thing is all right. Activate all of this feature. The same thing one by one if you want to see if there are any problem. Here I will move the sketch to the right to the right side. To do that, I want to just to hide the, the body and select all of this one. Press M or move and move it and move it to this side, to the right one. Put here 20. Verify with showing the body. As you can see, all thing is all right. The second thing to do is to edit the second sketch here. As you can see here. Here you have to select all this one and delete the other ones. Okay. You have just to move it with 20. As you can see here. Press finish sketch, show your body to see if all thing is all right. If you want to activate the surface analyze, select that surface and see what's going on here. As you can see here, I think it's all right. Here you have just to edit uh, this feature. And in the offset, uh, maybe let's put minus 80, 87. But I noticed that it has an error. Let's edit this one because it's not it's not in the center don't touch this just put it minus minus uh, six and here let's add minus three here plus three okay you have to see this in the center of this hole okay Here 
edit this feature and put here 16 click OK and let's create a mirror of this cylinder head click here and choose here body select this one like body and mirror plan select this surface as you can see here now as you can see here just press ok as you can see here you have two bodies what we have to do is to hide this one but it's not good solution here the best solution is to remove it okay right click and remove now as you can see you have only one cylinder head is the left one now once you finish all of this uh, you want to just to remove all of these features no i don't want to use this just select all and remove it or delete it okay thanks for watching and see you in the next episode be on time